Okay, guys, um, so this is the start of a brand new series. Um, so my original Rust uh, tutorials are all out of date um, because they've moved to an integrated version, which is great. Um, but it means you guys, unless you're like this guy, need to learn how to use the new workshop. So here I am. This first episode, I'm going to be teaching you about the interface, um, so let me just talk a little while while we open the workshop. So, that was much quicker than it was the first time, but basically here's our workshop interface. Um, we have over here all these skins other people have made latest, so these are the newest ones people have put out, which is nice to see. Um, then we've got different categories, so you can obviously browse the workshop through here. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but what we're interested in is over here. So your items, if you're new to this, um, will be empty. You won't see all this um, rubbish which I've created. Um, what you will want to do is move to the next step, which will be going to new we create a new item. Just load up the scene, get everything starting to render, and we'll be right to start making a skin. Now, we won't make a skin in this episode, nothing past the basics anyway, um, but I will show you what's going on in the scene setup. So basically, um, first thing you want to do is when you load up this make sure your graphic settings are set as high as you can run them um, because you'll want your graphic settings looking like what you want to publish so we've got our man over here um, we've got a bit of scenery and such but what we've got over here is a view of our item in its completeness shirts come with arms um, and this is a really good spot to just view what's going on with your image or your texture. Um, so yeah, down here we have different things such as lighting. We can activate a light which comes to play more at night. We can change weather. Um, we can also get rid of the effects of sun which is all pretty good and we also have a time slider over here so in this little environment they've set up for us time does continue to progress slowly um, but we can move it to get any shots we want as such so um, some of my favorite times of day to get screenshots and whatnot for final production would have to be midnight where the moon is just resting on it uh, early morning really puts it in a really nice light middle of the day is a good shot just for t showing people what it is um, sunset not always the best and then moonlight again so yeah that's the basics of that you can see light obviously a lot more at night time it's useful for showing people what's going on um, weather at night time weather's kind of pointless unless your item looks good in the rain and the who really cares about it doesn't mean anything at night. It's just cloudiness. So over here, we've got your item name. You can select your item from this. Um, we can go to edit the item. I'll run you through these when we start creating a skin as well. But for now, your diffuse is your basic texture. The normal map... Um, points out bumps and stuff for the renderer to render. Um, specular gloss, it's just glossiness of the skin. Occlusion, more lighting, and emission. Emission's a fun one. You can make your skin emit light, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can mask that off here. I'll show you how to do that in a future episode. Um, you can also mess with stuff like fuzz, fuzz scatter. But at the moment, that's pretty useless to us seeing as I don't believe this can actually use as much of it. Anyway, um, finally, other than the download buttons, so you can download the object file to import into something like Substance Designer, um, which is very useful. 
um, and you can also download the individual textures so if you want to just change the color or add something to the diffuse you're able to do it by clicking the download button and selecting some way to save it give it a title save etc um, and then the publish screen we won't be using this for a while um, and please don't spam the workshop with just random stuff um, but this is the publishing screen and something we'll definitely be using is the export button now the export button allows you to export and save to a file several different images that are auto generated by Rust um, and those will come in useful for putting it on our display at the end um, and we'll have a whole episode about fancying up displays showing off your work to people in the workshop as opposed to just the basics because um, that's definitely something to impress you've got to show off what you're doing um, and yeah that's that's the basics of the workshop interface um, if you want to go to get really good screenshots you'll want to hide the editor over here um, and this will just give you a nice little display um, you've got voting over there here so if you've published your skin already you can see what the votes are though I find the analytics in the actual web browser or Steam are much more useful um, and you also have the link to the web page once you're done with your skin publish it don't ask me why don't publish it to the workshop completely but finishing a skin won't save it so unless you have all your different textures saved as well as your values you're not going to be in luck so yeah that's basically here's a better description of what the normal function does um, but yeah that's that's the basic interface of the rust workshop when you're done finished and it'll take you back to here however it won't save what you just made unless you publish it thanks for watching